went off Washington Street, uh, BPNE Park. Now, 
Bill may be absolutely correct that there were more than that number of cars. And if there were that number of cars, then they were definitely also parked on the sidewalks. But every time I've been over there, the situation was corrected. However, I'm concerned that it's going to be a temporary situation. We need some guarantee of a permanent correction of those every problem that I just identified and no more violations. Or we're going to march on City Hall and get them to rescind the permit. We are there on a game night before game. Yes. It's usually game nights that are the they're the worst. Yeah. But even when there's not a game, even when there's only three or four cars parked in that lot instead of the permitted seven, they're parked over the end of Clark Street sidewalk. Or at least they were before the ZLC committee meeting. And that was the case for years and years at that location. All right. Given what a big fire uh, is on Charter Street, would it be possible to uh, uh, conditionalize it to, to, so that they have to have a barrier, like maybe a chain barrier or something there, that, that separates the sidewalk from the parking space. That way, cars couldn't approach and you know straddle that. Would that be feasible? Maybe bumper blocks. It's, it's already a helpful block. Yeah, they're gonna have people like grow work for transportation and public works and for that type of uh, permission. But, but that, so what? I mean, if, if, wouldn't that be a way of ensuring? I mean, this does sort of, no offense, but it does, I mean, people get worried when they, ha when they have to have an approval. But then, you know, for years after that, then they forget about it until the next approval comes up. I'm not casting aspersions on you guys. I'm just saying it's sort of human nature. So can you think of a way to, to actually make a guarantee, a physical guarantee? That if I, could, if I could address the secretary's comments, and, 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 I, and I wrote down the words that you said they were and they were, there was problems, and, and, I, and we appreciate the fact that you've recognized that we've had given concentrated efforts and management by, by Mohammed to be there watching it. It's, it's, it's required additional management uh, time and effort and also some training. So our goal is to, not to make it separated. Our goal is to make it consistent. Obviously, that is a very tight landmark area. We try to, try to do it as best we can. But, you know, our, our pride is uh, safety services smart. It's kind of a philosophy of delivering services to the general public. And sometimes we're challenged with that. But with someone who's driving up, they might have two or three kids in the car, whether they're going to a Celtics or a Bruins game or, or a skating event or the circus. And they're coming up, they're probably not familiar with the area. And we're, and we're faced with the challenge saying, what are we going to do with this person? Do we tell them to drive around the block and, and, and miss the opening of a bench with a child or something? So there are some decisions that we make kind of impromptu about, right? When we're trying to satisfy the customer. At the same time, we're thinking that every car we park there, not that we are on a road limit, is bringing business to the community, whether it's the garden or whether it's the North Penn. So I don't want people to think that we're just trying to jam as many cars in there as possible because you can't meet people. There's no way there's 25 cars right there right now because they would be on top of each other. And they'd, they'd be on the street, they'd be walking traffic. So. I corrected myself and say much more than seven. Okay. And he parked three cars a long way and ended up not walking the street while waiting to park other cars in there. Okay. So okay. So we'll address that. It, it, when you come here with a report that says you cleared up the rock, you never cleared up any action. Well, we didn't write that report. Someone here wrote that report. Okay. Okay. Well, so his so report is wrong. No. Okay. How often does the permit come up for a renewal? Every year. Every year? Okay. And when does this one expire? When does this expire? Uh, Okay, so it's plenty of time to know that. Go ahead. Though. I just recommend a follow-up on what Bob suggested. I know a chain, probably a chain won't work on, I'm thinking the other country sites that live on that side. Um, because you could just pack, you know, move the chain with a, with a buffer or a car. But what a, like a, like a gate type, not a chain of fence, you know, but so some sort of fencing. Um, be something that you would consider. So that would be a true on the Endicott Street side. Because the Washington Street's like a triple sidewalk in that area. But the Endicott Street side is narrow right. as you head to the, the, the point of right. King Square. So right. there may be something of a, a gate or some fencing that that won't make it a practice to well, I think since we find out the issue, uh, what we did was we're having a seven space lot. We're we'll having the parking at every car to make sure it you know, <coughs> backs up the car, make sure it's the right spot, and maybe the customer the keys. And that will work. We just watch every single car. In seven car space, you should have a full control of that lot without really the number of the car sticking out to the, to the side. So 
That's exactly what I told you to do. So you have a ten, an attendant who actually who actually does that. Yeah. 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 To put bullets in? Some nice bullets? Possibility. Possibility. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
that address each of the items listed, each of the problem items listed in the ZLC report. Can I ask a question? Will ZLC, will ZLC honor those conditions themselves? So if they're not going to consider those conditions, it's really, and I'm not saying, I know the, the issues of, I agree with Dave on addressing the issue, but if they're not part of the ZLC process, then how, how can we? They, they only honor what's submitted. What's submitted. Anything you add or say here is not going to get home. Okay. Okay. We're, We're talking about two different entities. entities. Yeah. You're talking, you're talking, you're talking, you're talking about the Board of Appeals. His I'm thinking you can I'm get these provisions the in the transportation department instead of doing the Board of Appeals. Because the Board of Appeals can be something different. That's Correct. just a permit Board zone Board. that land. Right. So transportation is maybe where we find our leverage and say we would like to see X, Y, and Z happen. Correct. Thank so you. we can address those concerns yeah. to Danny Nuzzo. <laughs> No. So that's how they come from. The only part of the garage is there where they will call Danny Lewis on how come and issue ticket violations. Yeah. So there's other way to do it. But it's not a violation if it's not in the permit as a, as a condition. Well, well, I would suggest, because I don't know how many years this, if they want to the Board of Appeals, it might be five years. Well, they have to, so, the groups have to vote on how many years, right? What? The neighborhood council and the residents association would vote on the well, I don't know. I mean, that's what I'm trying to find out from the from the applicant. If they go to renew their permit from the board of appeals for five years, six years, maybe they can do what they did with with, with the um, Segway. Segway is good mm -hmm. until the end of the, the calendar year. Well, typically, what happens is like in the Wolfman's Triangle, the downtown office association will vote and say we would like to see them up in two years, and then the BRA says so this, some, makes the some same recommendation. Right, makes the same recommendation. So that makes sense. Um, so yeah. they've been parking for a hundred years. They have. We have some issues that involve fifty years. You know what I mean? What? You know, ends up here for fifty. Yeah, years. that's what I'm saying. So they they hear your concerns right now. If they're going for five years, we say we come back in two, two and a half years, come back to the neighborhood, and if you're, you're, um, your concerns, uh, you're just your concerns, then you'll be fine. You know? I think you have something to say. Um, just a couple of quick questions, Jim. Um, is, when is your hearing in May? 21st. 21st. Could, could the permit be drafted? and brought back and we could vote on something we could actually see that had the conditions in it like we would for a license application date if we if we well that's a possibility uh, the hearing again is on the 21st of may we have another board meeting on may 9th mm -hmm. i mean then we would have it in writing exactly what we would be voting on would that be acceptable to people well i think you're going on if it's seven cars or 11 cars no, the conditions, yeah. the conditions that Dave was talking about that he wants to see in the permit. So if, if, if mm -hmm. six cars are parked in the garage and one outside, that's seven cars. So if their permit is only for seven cars, that's all they get. Seven the inside cars. parking right. spots are not the subject of the permit. It's, it's only not. The so seven is outside. Seven outside. outside. And that's it. Right. And what's the six inside? That's for your business? For the garage. That's just, yeah. Just the garage, then. That's a separate garage permit as opposed to a lot. Could you vote on it tonight and then make that contingent upon them adhering to the provisions and have the executive committee be, like finalize the vote? I have another suggestion. Sorry. Uh, I have a suggestion, which is that I talked to Dan Nuzzo that we that we uh, table this for now, bring it up again at, at the May 9th meeting, and in between times, I sit down and chat with Dan and find out. Raising these 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 problems, and find out how the city deals with them, and how the permit will deal with them, whether he will deal with them. Basically, to get the information, bring it back to you, and we vote that. And it would be also it would also be good to get more information about the board of appeal process. How often does it happen? Yeah. How long okay. is their decision of legal occupancy at the It's, as, it's right. case by case. I've seen it two years. I've seen it five years. Okay. So it's what the applicant approved, uh, asked for, it's what the BRA and the neighborhood agree on. So I've seen five years, I've seen two years, I've seen a year, but typically I've seen two. Most of the times it's two. It allows you to go through the process before the busy time. Does anyone have any objections to tabling this until May? Okay, then I 